everybody my name is farmer phil and in today's video we are doing something i've never done before we are going mowing whole crop yes we're mowing whole crop now we're not mowing it for ourselves we're mowing it for another contractor who's going to be lifting it up behind me so it's just me going and there'll be another harvester and crop which is going to be very interesting get a bit of drone fudge out but the first thing i have to do we're getting set up in the yard making sure we've everything ready is we have to slow down our conditioners and but it's because that we want i'll be grouping it that's the purpose behind mowing it there's a lot to explain there is a lot to explain I'll explain later on but i want to slow down the conditioners to give it a, the least amount of effort to get across onto the belt into the middle because the more speed and the more vigorous it is at it the more grain is going to be lost so the slower everything goes within reason the hopefully the less Grain will be lost so that's what we're doing and one of the things i actually forgot to say in the video where i was kind of breaking it down i really love the conditioners on these i think they do a super super job you see it coming out the back of it but for today i don't really need it doing a good job so all i have to do is just pull he said maybe turn the bed just had to turn the conditioner to get the gears to mash In. and now so that changes it from a thousand to seven hundred so it knocks a bit half up which the more the merrier the other thing we've already went at the front one father phil was in with me and while he was putting that on he done the front one but all that has to be done there there's a big and a large a small and a big pulley and you just swap them around so you put your small pulley on top simple slows down that drive so now we run around with the grease gun we fold her up and we're ready to go i have everything done yeah just grease it now and we're ready to go because we're mowing whole crop i might need a lot of these hopefully not hopefully not but i have a full box of knives so yeah we we'll grease her down and we get beaten on so just taking a minute out of today's video just to announce our colouring competition for this year. So as you can see all the ones from last year all over the shop. Uh, just brightened up the shop something. Oh holy terror. Also I give a big thank you to Long for Plowing and Grace Essler for giving us that for our wedding present. But um, so anyways, the competition this year is agriculture themed. Whatever you want once it's agriculture. You can send it to the Stewart Family Farm Shop, uh, Balnamore, Killishy, County Longford, N39C6V6. Competition is open till the first week of September, and we'll announce the winners then. There's going to be some farmer film merchandise to give to people. We'll also give away a lot of pens and pens, the same as we've done last year. And please, just when you're sending, sending us your entry, give us your name, your age, and where you're from doesn't have to be your address but once we know where you're from what county you're from and um so yeah i hope everyone have lots of fun getting that done we'll take these ones down we'll put them in a folder and all the new ones will be going up on the wall and you'll be able to see them then anytime you come to the farm shop because i think it just it just looks very very good in the farm shop so we're doing it again this year so anyways so there's where we're going so i'll just give you an idea how big this is on the road and I was hedge cutting, yes. To avoid the car to come around the corner very quickly. But, um, oh, whatever. Just pulled a few briars out of the hedge. But yeah, that's where I'm cutting now. The crop is lodged. Anyways, we get in there. Let me show you what the story is. Here we are. This is what we have to mow. So, as you can see, what we have to mow is fairly large. So, just to kind of explain, what the story is so we do quite a nice bit of whole crop for other farmers and other contractors with the harvester because we have the whole crop header and the mill we travel quite a bit and it just higher out my father just goes with the harvester so it's just the harvester then the farmer usually gets his usual contractor draw it in push it up or the contractor gets us and uses his own kit we do a nice bit of that and father phil was asked to cut this and when he's seen it with how much of it has gone down our whole crop header does not like lodge stuff very well it, it doesn't get on very well with lodge stuff and there's a quite a bit 
Father Phil seen there's roughly 25 acres here in a couple of fields and there's a lot of it gone down. So we came they came to the decision, the, the contractor and the father, that we try the moors. So I have the front moor set up to be mown at about three inches height and the back moor same. Basically we're at, we've set up same as we've done the red clover. The reason for that is we don't need to skin the ground and to try and avoid any stones. We've been told it's rolled and should be fine for stones, but you just never know. Conditioners are slowed down because the biggest thing when all this mechanical movement is going through the grain is to try not have them heads grain fall off. So we'll monitor that, see how it goes. We may have to slow down the speed of the tractor or what, we don't know. Um, we have everything set up there. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. Quite nerve wracking because I know from our own tillage ground and how stony it is that I wouldn't chance mowing it, but um, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. So, everything looking okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got ripe, got very ripe to say, look, I have fried it. Yeah, no, it has. I was sure enough, whether that goes down an awful long tail. I see, yeah. it goes off, off down. Everything is set up though. I have, that's right. Mowing height, all grease, so yeah. Walk that section here. Yeah, so as I said, nerve wracking, but we'll get going, we'll make sure everything is working well, and then we'll, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Um, but hopefully, we'll get some good drone footage. We'll, but, um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. So, we're mowing away here, second round of the field. As you can see, it's quite large. So, we've been tricking and playing with settings and We've the tractor slowed down to 900 RPM because even with the conditioner slowed down at full tilt they were still giving it a, bit of, a good bit of a trash. The grain is getting there, it is, a, it is on the harder side it's easy so it doesn't take a lot. Mowing through lot of stuff there. It seems to be getting it all mowed but as you can see it's even fixed the straw behind it. Very same as what the the group are done with the silage. Seems to be getting on too bad. So mowing manually. So I'm not planning on using that one steer except for maybe to fly the drone when everyone gets working. Um, so I'm going to do two rounds off each field and the contractor is going to come in and nip the rounds so then I can get up and down. The way the barley's lying is all lying that way. So Father Phil says to mow it that way. So mow with the way it's fallen rather than again the way. Because mowing again the way, the conditioner mower, it all hits the grain first and it can shake the grain out of it before it actually gets to go through the, the mower. So yeah, it, it's going to be interesting. Uh, 2B, so doing 4.7 kilometers an hour seems to be the right speed, seems to be getting the best clearance. Going a bit faster, didn't seem to be cutting it that well. So yeah, it's a bit of a balancing act. But um, we'll make it work. Where it's standing, it moves lovely, but where it's lying, maybe not the best. So there's not much can be done. It's just one of the downsides to growing a crop if it goes down. But it's very hard to get it back up. So it is very hard to get it back up. I haven't hit any stones either, but I do find that I might be dragging a wee bit of clay on the outside. That was a stone. Go check that out. As Father Phil says, could be here a while, but. We'll get through it. We'll get through it eventually. So, just back over there, I was just coming into the lodge stuff on the second round, and I was facing into it the way I said, the wrong way. So, the grain was falling this way, and I was coming that way. And all it was doing, that's the same with the combine or anything that we've ever used. If you hit it the wrong way, it pulls the roots out of the ground, trying to go through it. And it was dragging plainly, so it's going to be a test. So I had to had to lift the moors and, and stop that and move on to a different spot. So yeah, it's gonna make for some interesting point. Oh, very interesting. 
Trying to contact her three is after pulling in there. New Hollands and Blue Brahans. I think it's a crown harvesters coming in later, so it'll be very interesting to see. Make for a good video, something a little different for everyone that's watching. Moving into the next field. So they're gonna lift the rounds off. As I said, they're gonna lift the rounds, just make it easier for coming in and out because of the, the like it's a pretty big dense swarm of stuff there. Uh, just to make sure that I can lift across it. Uh, we're also going to try speeding up the back conditioners because of what's left there. Where it's this thing of whether maybe if the conditioners drove faster, it might give it a bit of sucking up off from the discs, and that may pull up more. But then it's the flip side, it may trash more grain. At the minute, what's been lost, I'll show you when I get a chance now because they're going to end up catching me because I have a I'm quite slow at this at the minute. It's it's slow going, but um, I've seen combines losing more grain than what's being lost at the minute. So it's not bad now. It's not bad by any means. I, I've seen an awful lot more, and it is a pretty good thick crop of, of barley, good plump grain. And we'll show you later. We'll show you later. I'm gonna move out here into the next field. We get hit opened up. So second round of the field. We're just after chatting to the farmers there and. We just we tried the conditioners running faster to try and clear more the, the straw and it is it's actually clearing a lot more of the straw and we checked there to see are we losing much and we're losing literally nothing more than what we were losing running with the floor conditioner speed so that's probably a good that's a good sign that the head is holding its grain very well the problem with running a slower you're not trashed the heads as much but you don't have the same suction of the conditioner coming round so speeding up the conditioner gives you more of a pull and it seems to be clearing, the, clearing more of the straw better. So yeah, we round off this field, we'll move on to the next one. So I'll go away this camera. More down to the second run, but coming back up the headland, you can see it's all lying that way. I just turned the corner and met it. So just started pulling in clay. So this is what some of, especially when I get into the field where it is well down, it's going to be going up and down. But it has mown your spears clean i think i think we have her have her right now we we'll have her set up right for the job took three runs of the field but i think we have her we we'll have her running very nice now didn't catch any clay in the first round we're clearing the ground a lot better than we are like when i was coming i'll show you later when i was coming around again you could see the difference between then and now running her that little bit faster it doesn't seem to be causing any more grain loss which is ideal so i'll just go up go back fold up and go out and do the other one and then we'll come back in and uh, yeah they have the first round lifted to the first field so yeah it's going not too bad now not too bad there they are cutting away it is a big big dense water of stuff now like we'd have lift we never lift any i suppose with our header you'd be never lifting 28 feet of whole crop at a time so I'm going to move on to the next field. They're working away there. Some outfit. Some outfit. Looking forward to getting the drone up. But anyways, I'll go out and I'll start mowing the other one. And then I'll come back and do that one. Uh, yeah. Carrying a fair bit of shaft on the, on the mowers now. I need a good blow down when we're finished. Anyways, it is mowing very, very well. Like that's, you can see what how large that is. You can see how well she's mowing there now. Second field, rounds off it. Forgot to put the camera on time lapse. You can just see the pit there, they have a digger and a shovel on the pit, getting it up. Bit of an issue though, we're getting a wee bit on the hot side, but I think because my fuel usage is running around 30 litres an hour, which is a nice bit down the normal, so it's not under pressure, but it's the dust off the front mower is the problem. So we'll just let the tractor run her down for a few seconds or for a minute or two there, let her cool down a bit, then we'll pop the bonnet, knock her off, pop the bonnet, and de dust everything. I do have an airline with me, so I can blow it down if I need to. We are cutting away here, starting the first of the ups and downs. So, 
The only issue we're going to have is it's down, it's back up, it's down, it's back up, it's down, it's back up. But it's going to take a bit of time. I have to see, can I go much faster and still do a good job? And they are not too far behind me. They're one field behind me. So I don't have the time to be messing with the camera. Up and up, get different shots in there. I will get to draw them. At the very least I get to get that stuff. I'm not going to have the time that I might often have by making a video. I probably will catch me. I've brought in some yoke to take in that stuff. But 28 feet of whole crop. It's a big row of stuff. It's a big row of stuff. Anyways, we keep waiting on. So we're working away at it here. This is, this is flat. This is Flat, flat, flat. Don't think of it. It's flat. It is so flat. But we're not doing too bad though. We are not doing too bad by any means necessary. Basically getting it all there. We are getting all the grains anyways. Might be leaving some straw behind. So it's getting all the heads. Which is what you want to see. But, um, and we start climbing up a bit in the gauge there, so just got to watch that. Might have to go a couple of times just to take the dust off the front panels. And we have some grass to mow after this to go on top of the pit. So we rolling that up or seeing how that goes. But um, yeah. So we've had to change up the direction, so I was cutting it that way. And then when I got across the field this way, but then everything started falling that way. And I started dogging on me, so now I'm having to go this way, and they're just moving into where I am now. There's the big X630. We go round and around. I didn't run, try and get this cut the right way. So, just after having a bit of tea, just getting ready to go, I'll quickly show you the crop. You can see how flat it is, but it is quite a good crop. There's a good big plump grain on it. So it is. This is the kind of trash we're leaving. Very, very little, like literally. You can hardly see them. There's a bit more under the stuff that's been picked up. Just when I was walking across there, I had a look. There's a bit more, but it's just not bad. I've often seen a combine doing worse when you start a season before you get her, her separate. So, anyways. We um, keep knocking drones out. Tractor didn't cool down much for lie sitting for a few minutes now. When we get into the next field, we'll fire up the drone. We'll get cutting again because they will catch me quite quickly.
away here next to me. I just had to draw it up. I'm having one big issue at the minute is I'm getting hot. Coming back up this way, the dust is just all coming in on top of the rad. And I should be okay this time. At last time, I had to get out and blow her down. Blowing it down, grand, where you go. But just so bloody dusty at the minute. Doesn't help that the rack of hot is pointed today either. And um, yeah, so I think they're waiting for me to get another bit done ahead of them. Still bit annoying. But it's just the dust. The dust is just clogging up the rad there in no time at all. Right now, I didn't get as much drone footage as I'd like to the big harvester working, but sure. Here's what it is. Now, that's another one done. One more to do. I had to blow down twice in that, so I'm going to blow her down now again before I start the next one. So they're cutting away there again. I have a few minutes before they catch me. So, working away here to find us. We're in the last field, and this field is only tossed, it's not flat, so it's mown very, very nice. By the nicest of all the fields. And before I come out here, I went into the farmer's yard, which is right beside the, the field, and got the hose pipe, and I washed out the radiators. And now, we are sitting very pretty, very comfortable, nice temperature. So we're well on the way here. I'm able to keep on ahead of them now, which is nice for a change. So, um, we we'll get this field done and then we're going to get swapped over for silage so that's lengthen the top length at the front mower, pivot down, get the cut height down and then tighten the top length for the back mowers to get them turn in and get tighter hold and pull up the conditioner yokes to peg it down onto the bed. So that's the field done. They're literally one sport from behind behind me. So I'm going to wash out the rads again just to make sure that I don't have any issues after doing that. And um, yeah, I have it all switched over. Go into the yard, water, wash down, and we go mow some silage. Here, there's actually a lot of ground ground get covered, a lot of ground. So this field and then the next field over. Grouping away there, lovely. I was asked to try and leave this more wide rather than narrow, like what we done the last day. So, so down the groupers, I think hopefully that uh, might be a nice wide sport. So I'm, out for, I'm, I'm, I'm very much enamored with that grown harvester now. It is so weapon of a harvester. Start in ups and downs with my all steer. We will be laughing. Touch the line. Hit the button. We're in business. And by the way, yes, we are missing the mug guard. I forgot to mention it. The backbone broke on it, so the spine to keep the mug guard in place that broke. So we had to take it off. That happened while we were at Surrey, and yeah, it's waiting to get welded. that we're not in the way and we go do our bits with her grouper that we can make sure she's good to go fairly long day now so i think i got here just after 11 and it's just nine so what's that 10 hours all looks good anyways up down down that clears off the swart Gonna have to blow down the moors when I go home, get rid of all the whole crop and fuck, it's this like that. Blow down all the crap that's on them. We'll just run them groupers now so that that clears off. Clears off the rollers underneath so there's no grass stuck on it. Moors on. There's a lot of grouping done today, a lot of grouping, so give her a few minutes to. Here the rollers. We get to see them picking the last water grass now outside of the tractor. 
literally have had no time i'm very annoyed i forgot the second drone battery because i'd have got some footage out here if i had though i didn't have much time to do it last time we finished too we fold up We'll just have a quick look at the pit in the yard because it's a massive pit and there's a digger and a loading shovel on it and like I can see it in the distance. I know the you can't see it very well, but it's some operation I'm working with today. So it is it's yeah, it is some output. Some output anyways. We'll get these folded up. So that's the pit. Some lump of a pit now. All the whole crop and everything in it. is so all going there is no two ways about that it was let's break it down so going into this morning i was very nervous the thoughts of mowing the thoughts of mowing a field of, of barley i was like oh geez the stones how am i going to manage father feels like bring all the stones you seen when i started it, full boxes a night never had changed one night feel shocking shocking clean shocking clean Farmer had it well, like I'd never hit a stone. Very, very well picked all the day, yeah. So that was definitely, I, I was, I started off keeping out from the hedges a nice bit and well, I went around and tidied up a bit afterward and yeah, no, shocking, shocking, shocking happy that way with, with how that went. The only issue I really had was the tractor starting to overheat. So, very, very warm, very, very, very warm day. And that was part of it. Another part is the dust off the whole crop. And I still had a, bit, a little bit of heating when I was in the, at the silage, which I normally shouldn't have, which I've never really had. I've never actually had to stop and blow down the rats at silage, so I was a little bit annoyed with that. But we're going to have to, when we get home, give the rats a good deep clean and deep clean. And hopefully that's all it is that it's not a viscous fan or something starting to go. Great to get working with the lads and see they're out for Honda Road and get to make a video. I know I didn't get all the footage I'd like, but we will be on home and we'll leave it at that for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope for all the New Holland and Crone men out there, you got your fix on the channel. It's not too often you see either on the channel, but um, yeah, we're going to leave it at that. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That is it for me. Good luck.